Good morning. Welcome to Morning Special. 여러분 안녕하세요. 1월 22일 수요일 최수진의 Morning Special입니다. 우리는 소는 탄산수 한 잔. 청취자 여러분, 소화가 안 되거나 속이 답답할 때 탄산수를 찾는 사람들이 굉장히 많아졌는데요. 여기서 한 가지 주의하셔야 할 점이 있습니다. 국내 치약대학 연구에 따르면 탄산수는 산성의 성질로 인해 치아에 좋지 않은 영향을 줄수 있다고 하는데요. 치아의 바깥면인 범랑지를 녹일 수 있기 때문입니다. 따라서 탄산수를 마신다면 레몬 탄산수 등 일부 산도가 높은 탄산수보다는 첨가물이 없는 탄산수를 마시는, 그, 마시는 것이 치아 건강에 좋다고 하네요. 1번 스파클링, 2번 thirsty, 3번 시원시원. 오늘도 청취자 여러분의 많은 참여 기다리고 있겠습니다. 퀴즈 정답 보내주신 분들 중에 추첨을 통해서 총 다섯 분께 고칼슘 살론 두유 보내드리겠습니다. 소식과 소감 그리고 궁금한 질문 있으시면 생방송 중에 보내주세요. 반디 게시판 무료로 이용할 수 있고요. 짧은 문자 50원 긴 문자 100원에 샵 1045로 보내주시면 되겠습니다. Okay, then let's kick off today's show with today's global headlines. 세계 각국 언론사들의 어떤 헤드라인이 올라왔는지 살펴보는 시간입니다. Touch Global Headlines. The number of cases of the so-called Wuhan coronavirus has climbed to close to 300 in China. 중국 우한 폐렴 확진자가 300명에 육박하는 등 급속히 확산되고 있습니다. Singapore has announced the temperature screening at Changi Airport will be extended to all travelers arriving from China. 우한 폐렴이 확산하면서 싱가포르가 중국에서 오는 여행객 전체를 대상으로 발열 검사를 실시하기로 했습니다. About 1.5 billion international tourist arrivals were recorded globally by the UN in 2019. 지난해 전 세계 관광객 수가 15억 명에 육박한 것으로 나타났습니다. The Trump administration has drafted plans to expand its travel ban list to include immigration restrictions on seven additional countries. 도널드 트럼프 미국 행정부가 현행 입국 금지령 대상 국가를 확장해 추가로 7개국 이민 제한을 검토 중이라는 보도가 나왔습니다. The Ministry of National Defense has announced it will dispatch troops to the Strait of Hormuz to conduct independent operations. 국방부가 호르무즈 해협에 청해 부대를 독자적으로 파병하기로 했습니다. And for the headlines, and much, much more is Steve. Good morning. Good morning to you. Happy Wednesday. Happy Wednesday. Talking about opening, or in the opening today, talking about water. Yeah. Are you a fan of the sparkling water? I thought you were going to say, are you a fan of water? <laughs> well, I love it. Are you a fan of water? <laughs> I hope so. I, yeah, it's uh, what It does I'm, comprise 70% of our bodies. It's what I'm made up of. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Sparkling water? No, no? not yeah, so much. Some people don't enjoy it. I love it. Do you really? Yeah. Um, I don't know what it is. I think if I'm going to have a sparkling water type beverage, mm. then soda 
seems yeah. to be the choice, right? Yeah. I don't know why. I don't know why I don't like it so much. Uh, I know why I like fizzy drinks. I mean, I like the sensation of drinking soda or fizzy drinks. Mm -hmm. But then when I drink, you know, the black stuff and the white stuff, uh, Coca or something, and yeah, the, yeah. you know, and the seven whatever. Mm -hmm. um, I find that it my teeth after a while feel very uh, soft, sandy, yeah, granular, Gr granular. That's the word I was yeah. looking for. Yeah, and I hate that feeling. I know what you mean. Yeah, yeah. That's why you know you rarely drink soda just to drink a soda. Mm. Usually, you're having it with French fries yeah. or potato chips or some sort of snack, right? True. And that helps to get rid of that granular mm. feel. How do you say granular in Korean? Yeah. yeah. Why does everything sound cute in Korean? <laughs> like bad, bad air. <laughs> it sounds so fun. Ah, 그렇게 들릴 수 있겠네요. Steve 선생님은 이런 단어들이 다 너무 귀엽게 들린답니다. Right. Ah, <laughs> Here are a couple, a couple of fun facts mm. about water. I, I'm on a website right now. Just yeah. as you were doing your opening, I yeah. looked it up. It's called cmetrics.com okay. slash blogs slash water facts. Mm. Uh, to create one pint of beer, how much water does it take to create one pint of beer? I don't know. 20 gallons. 20 gallons. That's shockingly wow. high, is it not? Yeah. Yeah, if you look at things like that, then you realize how much water we are using and how much water we are kind of throwing away mm. in our daily use around uh, the world. 80% of all illness in the developing world is water-related. Really? Isn't that something? Wow. I mean, I don't know if these facts are true. I just found this website right now, but it's still kind of interesting, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, we take clean water for granted most of the time, but you know, it's not always been that way. Yeah, a person can live a month without food, but only a week without water. Mm -hmm. We are completely mm -hmm. dependent upon it, right? Wow, yeah. and you have your little bottle of water there, I can oh, see. speaking of which, how's the three liter a day challenge going? <laughs> not going well. No, why not? You're not doing it? <laughs> well, I'm drinking water, but not three liters. Do you monitor? I forget, sometimes I forget. Yeah, well, that, see, we mentioned that, right? That yeah. people often forget how much water you're supposed to drink or to just drink water at all, mm. right? And the minute you feel thirsty, you're already dehydrated. Yeah. And they say that if you want to, it's like sleep. If you want to catch up on your sleep, you can't just go to sleep one night and sleep for 14 hours and then think you're all caught up. Mm. If you're dehydrated, you can't just drink two liters or three liters of water at one time and then think that your body will absorb all of it and mm. you'll be back to normal, your hydrated state. It's a, it's a, a process over time. Yeah. I wonder what it would be like to have three liters of sparkling water every day. Well, I think you'd be a little <laughs> bloated. bloated. There's another good word. What, how do you say bloated in Korean? Uh, Okay, that sounds not so cute. I <laughs> 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 so like lamb. Yeah, 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 I get yeah. it, I get it, I get it. <laughs> All right. Well, let us know what your preferred drink is this morning, uh, whether it's just normal water, mineral water, sparkling water, or, I don't know, something else even. Yeah, let right. Us know. Uh, side note, the traffic is starting to get bad in the afternoons and evenings now. Did you notice? Oh, why is that? Because of the upcoming holiday. Already? It always so gets bad a few days that's before. That's true. Today's be Wednesday, so. Y yeah, so mm. tomorrow night's going to be really, really bad. So yeah. just a little reminder to everyone to uh, please drive carefully if you're yeah. on the roads because probably more traffic than usual. Yes. Okay, well, if you'd like to listen to the headlines again, you can do so by visiting our website. Morning special homepage에 들어가셔서요. 조금 전에 Steve 선생님과 제가 읽어드린 headline 무료로 다시 들으실 수 있습니다. Let's go over the stories. Headline number one today. The number of cases of the so-called Wuhan coronavirus has climbed to close to 300 in China. 중국 우한 폐렴 확진자가 300명에 육박하는 등 급속히 확산되고 있습니다. On Monday, the head of a Chinese government expert team said human-to-human -human transmission of the virus had been confirmed. Uh, meanwhile, the number of those killed by the virus rose to six, with cases being reported outside of China, including in Thailand and Japan and here in Korea. Uh, officials at China's National Health Commission confirmed 290 21 cases of the disease. 270 of those are in the country's central Hubei province. That is where uh, the city of Wuhan is located. Uh, and that has seen the majority of the cases. And the number of detected cases in China stood at 62 on Sunday. 네, 그렇습니다. 
어제까지 우한 폐렴 확진자가 요 291명에 달했다고 하는데요. 대부분 이제 중국에 있습니다만 해외 사례들도 늘어나고 있습니다. 어제 저희가 보도해드린 대로 태국에서 두 명, 일본에서 한 명, 또 한국에서 한명 이렇게 확진자가 나왔는데 어제는 또그 이후에 대만에서도 첫 감염 확진자가 나왔다는 소식과 함께 미국까지 상륙을 해서 시아틀에서도 음. 한 명의 확진자가 나왔다는 really? 소식이 오늘 새벽에 들리고 있습니다. Is that right? Yes. Now all of these people had traveled to China. In, and including the, the person from Seattle as well? The, yes, the person in Seattle. We don't know their nationality. All mm -hmm. we know is that this person had just come back from China, showed symptoms very similar to this, checked and find, found out that he indeed has uh, this coronavirus. Well, this is getting a little, get, a little bit scarier than it was in the beginning because, as I just mentioned, on Monday they did confirm that human-to-human -human transmission of the virus had been confirmed. Now, if we go back to the 12th of January, mm -hmm. the WHO reported that there was no clear evidence of human-to-human -human transmission, and when we started reporting on this, that was kind of the thing that made, made us feel comfortable, I think. Uh, maybe we didn't have to worry about this. But again, to, to reiterate a point that we've been making, over the last few days, the WHO, they've been monitoring the spread of the virus, and now they are holding an emergency committee meeting today to discuss whether the virus constitutes a public health emergency of international concern, because mm. with the upcoming holiday this weekend, hundreds of millions of people will be on the move in China, and now, if it is human to human, mm -hmm. it is cause for major concern. 네, 그렇습니다. 이제 중국 최대의 명절을 앞두고 대이동이 있을 것으로 예상을 하기 때문에 더욱더 우려스러운데요. 이번에 폐렴이 이제 말씀드린 대로 코로나 바이러스입니다. 예전에 사스와 메르스도 코로나 바이러스의 일종이었어요. 하지만 더욱더 심각한 상태였기 때문에 같은 레벨은 아니지만 지금 현재 이 폐렴, 중국 우한 코로나 바이러스의 경우에는 지금까지 사망자 여섯 명 까지 늘어났다는 소식이고요. 그 다음에 확진자는 어, 300명에 육박한다. 이렇게 보도가 되고 있습니다. So far we don't know the cause of the virus. All we know is that it's a coronavirus as were, as with SARS and MERS, although it's a different level. It's not as deadly. Well, yeah, I mean, if we compare it to the situation of SARS, SARS killed 774 people in the early 2000s uh, across several different countries, most of those countries being in Asia. But if we compare how it was handled by China, this seems to be much better. China initially withheld information about SARS from the public, and it later also uh, really underreported the number of people that had been infected. They also downplayed the risks, and they failed to provide timely, informations that, uh, timely information that experts say could have uh, saved lives. But uh, Chinese President Xi Jinping, this time around, has called for all-out efforts to control the outbreak, uh, according to state media, including quickly making information available and taking measures to guide public opinion. They do not want this to turn into an uncontrollable disaster. Disaster. Mm -hmm. 그렇습니다. 어, 지금 말씀드린 해외 케이스 같은 경우에 태국에서 두 명, 일본에서 한 명, 한국에서 한 명, 대만에서도 한 명, 미국에서 한명 이렇게 확진자가 나왔는데요. 모두 지금 격리 치료를 받는 중입니다. 이 폐렴으로 인한 사망자 여섯 명은 전부 다 중국 우한에서 치료를 받다가 사망을 한 어, 환자가 되겠습니다. Well, speaking of measures taken, let's go on to headline number two. Singapore has announced that temperature screening at Changi Airport will be extended to all travelers arriving from China. 우한 폐렴이 확산하면서 싱가포르가 중국에서 오는 여행객 전체를 대상으로 발열 검사를 실시하기로 했습니다. So in addition to the information provided in the headline, uh, individuals with pneumonia who traveled to Wuhan within 14 days before the onset of symptoms will be isolated in hospital. Uh, these are precautionary measures that have been stepped up or increased, and they are in response to a rise in cases of this coronavirus and also the anticipated spike in 
travel volume. Again, sure. going back to that point once again. Uh, these expanded measures come in addition to other measures that were put in place since the start of January. Uh, temperature screenings already implemented from the evening of January 3rd for inbound travelers arriving on flights from Wuhan. 네, 그렇습니다. 싱가포르에서는요. 오늘부터 어, 중국에서 싱가포르로 가는 여행객 전부가 발열 검사를 받게 됩니다. 싱가포르에서는요. 어제 일곱 번째 우한 폐렴 의심 환자가 아, 발생했습니다. There have been so far seven suspected cases seven, of the, the uh, coronavirus. Seven suspected, uh, six tested negative mm -hmm. since the start of the year. You're right. Seven people in Singapore have been warded off and tested after they were found to have pneumonia and to have traveled to Wuhan. But six of those cases uh, tested negative for the coronavirus. They're doing what they can at the airport in Singapore. 그렇습니다. 확진자는 싱가포르에서 나오지 않았고요. 하지만 어, 예방책으로 이렇게 중국 최대 명절인 춘제 우리식으로 하면 설이죠. 이것을 앞두고 발열 검사를 모든 중국인 여행객 대상으로 실시한다 이렇게 밝혔습니다. 오늘부터 해당이 된다는 것. 그래서 싱가포르 혹시 여행하시는 분들은 공항에서 어, 이런 검사하는 장면을 아마 어, 보시게 될 것으로. Probably be expecting some longer lines, yeah, I would definitely. think, at airports as well, right? Some longer yeah. waits. Mm -hmm. Well, let's move on to our next story, which is about traveling. Yes, headline number three today, about 1.5 billion international tourist arrivals were recorded globally by the UN in 2019. 지난해 전 세계 관광객 수가 15억 명에 육박한 것으로 나타났습니다. So the 1.5 billion international tourist arrivals was a 4% uh, increase on the number from 2018 and they are expecting similar growth in this year 2020. All regions saw a rise in international arrivals last year. However, uncertainty surrounding Brexit and geopolitical and social tensions and also the economic slowdown which was all around the world, it seemed. They all contributed to a slower growth in 2019 when compared to the rates of 2017 and 2018, which were really, really good. Mm. Uh, this slowdown affected mainly advanced economies and particularly areas in Europe and Asia and the Pacific. So overall, in the past 10 years, there's been a rise in tourists and tourism. But as you said, the the rate of increase has somewhat slowed. In 2017, it was 7%, 2018, 6%, yeah. but uh, last year, just 4%. Yes, exactly. So the numbers are still growing. They're just mm. growing at a slower rate. Uh, but the World Tourism Organization, uh, part of the UN body, they predicted that global tourism will grow by 3 to 4% this year, mm -hmm. and some of the things that will be helping out. Uh, one of the things will be the Tokyo Olympics in Japan. Of course, a lot of people travel for that and uh, other big cultural events as well. 네, 그렇습니다. 어, 작년에는요, 전년 대비 4%의 관광객 증가율을 어, 보였습니다. 그런데 이게 전체적으로 지난 10년간의 추세를 보면은 전 세계의 관광객이 계속해서 늘고는 있습니다만 2017년에는 7% 증가한 것에 비해서 2019년에는 4%만 증가했다. 뭐 여러 가지 이유가 있을 수 있습니다. 뭐 작년에 브렉시트의 불확실성도 있었고요. 뭐 여러 가지 지역적인 갈등, 뭐 무역 갈등도 있었죠. 홍콩. 홍콩도 그렇고요. 네. 그다음에 토마스 쿠크라고 하는 yeah. 세계에서 가장 오래된 여행사의 파산 소식도 있었잖아요. Oh, that was a huge story, wasn't 네. it? Yeah. 그로 인해서 아마 이제 관광객 수가 증가한 것이 조금 주춤하지 않나 증가하기는 증가했지만요. 그렇게 보고 있습니다. 2020년의 전망치는 3에서 4%로 이렇게 내다보고 있습니다. Let's go on to our next headline. Headline number four, the Trump administration has drafted plans to expand its travel ban list to include immigration restrictions on seven additional countries. 네, 도널드 트럼프 미국 행정부가 현행 입국 금지령 대상 국가를 확장해 추가로 7개국 이민 제한을 검토 중이라는 보도가 나왔습니다. So unlike the travel restrictions currently in place, the new rules could limit certain immigrant visas from the additional countries, this uh, according to a U.S. government official. In it would essentially create a partial immigration ban. Mm -hmm. uh, these plans, they're still under review now, but they are based on interagency input from the Departments of Homeland Security and Department of State, as well as the White House. Uh, President Donald Trump is going to be making the final decision changes uh, on the ban. 
네, 그렇습니다. 지금 이제 미국에서 검토하고 있는 것이 여행 제한이 아니라 아예 이민 비자 발급하는 단계에서부터 제한을 하자라는 얘기가 오고 가고 있다고 CNN이 어제 보도했습니다. 이렇게 이민 비자 발급 자체를 제한하게 되면은 부분적인 이민 금지라고 볼수 있을 것 같아요. But they are saying that it will differ between country, uh, from country to country. So you know there might be different levels of restrictions. Yeah, they're going to kind of tailor it to each country's situation. But if you remember back in 2017, January 27th, to be specific mm -hmm. of 2017, there was an executive order that was signed by Trump that suspended refugee resettlement and it barred nationals from seven majority Muslim countries. Uh, that anniversary is coming at the end of this month, just five days away from now. And if you remember that story, that was incredibly controversial at the time. Mm. Uh, but this time around, they say, at least the administration says, that the restrictions are used to encourage countries to comply with U.S. national security requirements, such as sharing information with U.S. agencies. And these restrictions are imposed because a country, if they do not provide adequate uh, information information sharing or otherwise they pose an elevated public safety risk or national security risk. Mm -hmm. That's why this policy is being implemented. So now. tell us about the seven countries where this travel ban is currently in place and they're considering actually upping that restriction. Right. So the countries on the list, Iran, Libya, Somalia, Syria and Yemen, along with Venezuela and North Korea. Mm. Uh, Chad, the African nation, was on that list, but they were removed from the list last April after the White House said the country improved their security measures. 네, 지금 현재 여행 제한이 어, 걸려 있는 7개국을 소개해 주셨고요. 앞으로는 아마 이민 비자 발급까지도 제한이 될수 있다. 이런 소식이 되겠습니다. Let's move on now to our final headline. The Ministry of National Defense has announced it will dispatch troops to the Strait of Hormuz to conduct independent operations. 국방부가 호르무즈 해협에 청해 부대를 독자적으로 파병하기로 했습니다. So the Defense Ministry said this in a release. In consideration of the current situation in the Middle East, the government has decided to temporarily expand the Cheonghae unit's sphere of activity in order to guarantee safety of our people and the freedom of navigation of our vessels. Uh, that unit uh, is about 300 strong and it's been on an anti-piracy mission in the Gulf of Aden off of the uh, country of Somalia back since 2009, but it's going to be broadening its mission areas into the Gulf of Oman and further into the Persian Gulf. This particular area is a point of dispute, especially between the U.S. and Iran. Yeah, well, we, yeah sorry to interrupt, but no, when, when we no. talked about what was happening between the United States and Iran mm. and how Iran might retaliate yeah. against the United States, the Strait of Hormuz was a, a topic that we brought up because mm. so many ships and so much oil passes through there, right? Exactly. So we don't want to get on the wrong side of Iran for economical reasons. You know, we, we do uh, import a lot of our oil from that part of the world. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, we are close allies with the U.S. Yes. And so if the U.S. says, please come and, uh, you know, station your soldiers, your troops there for the U.S., then uh -huh. that could have been problematic. But that's not what's happening exactly, here. Exactly. Because yeah. this Cheonghae unit, they are going to be acting independently. Yeah, that's or the key point, I on think. On their yeah. own. Yeah, two liaison officers affiliated with the unit to the U.S.-led international maritime security construct uh, for cooperation such as information sharing. That, yes, but are they there uh, directly related to? No, they are not. They are there on their own, and they're there to help keep things nice and smooth for Korean ships in the area. And Iran, I believe I read something saying that Iran said that they understood uh, Korea's situation. Oh, 그렇군요. 이 호르무즈 해협이 있는 이 지역은 현재 미국과 이란 간의 갈등이 고조되고 있는 지역이기도 하죠. 아, 여기서 이제 기존에 우리 한뭐 1,100 km 정도의 청해부대 작전 범위가 3배 정도 넓어져서 한 3,900km 정도로 확대된다고 합니다. 독자적으로 어, 파병하기로 했다는 것이 어, 중요한 점이 되겠네요. Interesting little factoid too. About 170 South Korean ships, they sail through the Strait of Hormuz about 900 times a year. So it makes wow. sense for some form of security to be there. Yes, indeed.
Well, those were our headlines this morning. Let's remind our listeners of the quiz again. Carbonated water is a mainstream product found in restaurants, markets, and convenience stores. It is also known as blank water. Number one, sparkling water. Number two, thirsty water. Or number three, Shiwon Shiwon water. <웃음> 네, 그렇습니다. 시원 시원한 정답 기다리고 있겠습니다. <웃음> 짧은 문자 50원, 긴 문자 100원에 샵 1045로 보내주시고요. 반디 게시판 무료로 이용 가능합니다. 추첨을 통해서 어, 총 다섯 분께 고칼슘 살룬 두유 보내드리겠습니다. Village People at YMCA 듣고 올게요. You're listening to Morning Special. Let's take a look at your messages. Yu Hye Suk Nim, 안녕하세요. 아침에 저희 아들이 좋아하는 탄산수 얘기에 아이들이 잠이 번쩍 깼어요. 감사합니다. 오늘도 즐겁게 듣겠습니다. 감기 조심하세요. 하셨습니다. Your kids like sparkling water. Wow. I don't know many kids who like it. Because when I was younger, I hated mineral water, sparkling Chil water. Children are very picky <laughs> about certain foods sometimes. Yeah. And you're right. Sparkling water is more of an acquired taste. Yeah. Oh, that's a good one. That's a good one. An uh -huh. acquired taste. We're going to talk about that one later. <laughs> yeah, uh, you don't immediately like it, do you? Yeah, exactly. And it's kind of a fancy, it's kind of a posh drink, is it mm. not? You know, if you go out, um, uh, if you go out for dinner, mm -hmm. uh, most people just drink the table water, right? I don't yeah. know. But in Canada, if someone says, oh, sparkling water, <laughs> it just, you know, oh, you're, yeah. fa you're Ooh, a fancy, fancy. person. <laughs> yeah. Right? <laughs> 탄산수, 레스토랑에 가서, 아, 어, 이거 생수 말고 저는 탄산수 주세요. 그러면 약간, 아, 어, 어, 굉장히 고급. 입맛을 가지고 있구나 <웃음> 예. 이런 느낌이래요. Yeah, yeah, fancy kids. <웃음> 어, 아이들이 굉장히 고급 입맛을 가지고 계시네요. 저는 어렸을 때이 탄산수가 너무 이상해서 싫어했는데 지금은 너무 좋아합니다. Mm. 그러니까 변하나 봐요 입맛이. Yeah, right. Mm. People are more used to it now. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. 김혜선님이요. 우리 남편은 소화 안 되면은 사이다 사오라고 합니다. 추운데도 아침 일찍 출근한 남편 화이팅 하셨어요. Do you know what? Saida is the Korean saida. I do. What's soha though? Soha is digest. Ah. So when this husband when you can't digest, can't you digest. Have yeah. some cider. When I was uh, sick, when I was a child, mm -hmm. I don't know if this is a home remedy in Korea or not. Um, but my mom used to give me uh, flat ginger ale. Oh. And, and flat is like if you open a carbonated beverage and then just leave it mm. for a few hours, it go. We say it goes flat. Ah, 김 빠지다. Yeah. 영어로는 go flat라고 하는군요. Yeah, like so, a tire. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, so my mom used to give me flat ginger ale mm. to settle my stomach. Settle my stomach means to make it comfortable again. I don't know is, if that's a home remedy here in Korea or not. I'm not familiar with ginger ale. Uh -huh. or, it's not or, an alcoholic drink, is it? No, 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 no. Oh, no. okay. <laughs> what kind of mother? <laughs> no, I'm just not sure. Ale. And then child because, services came and no, took me in away. England, <laughs> ale is uh, an alcoholic <laughs> beverage. Yeah, you've never heard of ginger ale I, before? I may have heard of it. I've never had it, I don't think. Oh, really? It's really mm, good, yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, that flat ginger ale or flat uh, cola. Ah, 그렇군요. Yeah. 생강 맛이 나는 그 청량 음료 ginger ale을 Steve 선생님의 어머니는 김이 다 빠진 그 상태로 yeah, let's be clear. Mm. My mom did not give me beer <laughs> when I was sick <laughs> as a child. I I think flat cider would work for an upset tummy too. Ah, 그럴 수도 있겠네요. 소화가 안 됐을 때 탄산수 이렇게 김 빠진 상태로 먹으면 도움이 좀 될까요? 네. 있습니다. 우명호님 탄산수보다는 보리차를 즐겨 마시는데요. 몸에 좋은 물을 마시는 것도 건강을 위해 좋겠어요. 하셨습니다. I much prefer 보리차 to uh, carbonated drinks. Mm -hmm. Says our listener. I like 보리차 too. Yeah, it's a good one. Mm. And related to the upcoming 설, a lot of listeners have been writing in. 방은하님 says. 이제 모레부터 설 연휴가 시작되네요. 벌써부터 설레는 거 있죠. Wow, very excited as the 설 break is coming up. It's starting to kind of feel like it already, right? Yeah. Yeah, and like I said, uh, with Friday being the first day of the holiday, yeah. tomorrow evening, 
the traffic is going to be crazy. It really is. Yeah, but you know, it's all part of it though. Yeah. For me, it's like when we say at Christmas time, you know, oh, the shopping malls are, are crazy busy with people. Mm. Yeah, it's true, but it's also part of the, it's also part of the experience. So yeah. it's, it makes you feel warm somehow mm -hmm. some way yeah exactly you know what i mean yeah mm. i love that this person says they're excited about this whole um holidays because i i know some people a lot of women especially dread the mm. holidays for reasons i can understand totally but mm -hmm. but i i want people to enjoy it more and i think it just begins uh with you know what each individual trying to think differently, approach I, it differently. I think complaining at the holidays mm -hmm. is an international thing <laughs> that human beings do. But it doesn't mean Even that... in Canada? But it, of course, but it oh. doesn't mean that we don't enjoy them at the same time. Ah, 그렇군요. Yeah. 캐나다에서도 uh, 명절 전에 아, 별로 명절이 기대되지 않는다. 이렇게 말씀하시는 분들 참 많다고 합니다. Uh, 여러분의 사연뿐만 아니라 뭐 하소연도 좋습니다. 다 보내주세요. 김태리님은요 명절이 코앞으로 다가와서 시댁 내려갈 짐 챙기고 있어요 하셨습니다. 아 uh, 일찍 내려가시나 봐요. I know, I can't believe it. We are just right around the corner. Well, Sol is right around the corner, I should say. And yeah, people are preparing already. I like that expression, co -opero. We say that in English too, like right in front of our nose. Right? Oh yeah, that's true. Yeah. Yeah. Co right. yeah. That's <laughs> cute. <laughs> Keep sending in your messages and greetings. We have five Kukashim Salun Duyus for you to give out. All right, let's take a look at our news focus stories. Our first one is about uh, the climate. 자, 첫 번째 뉴스 포커스입니다. 유엔이 이른바 기후변화 난민을 강제로 본국에 되돌려 보낼 수 없다는 판결을 내놨는데요. 어떤 내용인지 들어보겠습니다. A landmark decision by the United Nations Human Rights Committee has found it unlawful to force climate refugees to return to their home countries. Kiribati man Ioane Tetiota made international headlines in 2015 when he challenged his deportation from New Zealand for overstaying his work visa. Mr. Tetiota had argued a sea level rise in Kiribati has resulted in the scarcity of habitual habitable space, which has in turn caused violent land disputes. However, New Zealand's High Court, the Court of Appeal, and the Supreme Court all rejected his argument and allowed the deportation to go ahead. Yes, this This is a special kind of refugee because it's related to climate change. I've never heard of this term before, mm -hmm. a climate refugee. But this uh, man, Mr. Tetiota, he had a very strong argument. What he was saying was that because sea levels rose where he was from, mm -hmm. it took the space away from where people could live. And as a result, with that livable space or habitable space getting smaller, people started to fight. And violence rose because there were territorial disputes about land and where people could live. Mm. So therefore, he, he calls himself uh, a climate refugee, and the United Nations uh, Human Rights Committee has found it unlawful now to force people to return to their home countries if that uh, is the case. But as we also said, uh, New Zealand's High Court and the Court of Appeal and the Supreme Court, they all rejected this man's particular argument. 네, 그렇습니다. 그러니까 우리가 예전에 뭐 전쟁의 위험에 있는 나라로 난민을 돌려보내면 안 된다. 이런 얘기는 뭐 이렇게 알고 계시죠. 근데 이젠 뭐냐면요. 기후 관련된 위험이 있는 나라로 난민을 돌려보내면 안 된다. 라는 그런 판결이 나온 것입니다. It's non-binding, but it's significant. Very significant. Yeah, it is a landmark decision. So a landmark is typically something that allows you to know where you are, um, geographically speaking. Mm -hmm. So when I first moved to Korea, of course, I had where I was living in Hwajong. Yeah. Uh, I had no idea where I was. When I went out for a walk, I had no idea. Mm. So it was easy for me to get lost. So I would f try to find a landmark, and a landmark is a building that right. allows you to know where you are. 
so think about that when you think about decisions. That building is kind of a big building that stands out. Mm. A landmark decision is a decision that usually changes a law or a policy, but it's a big decision that usually stands out. 네, 그렇습니다. 여기서 형용사로서의 landmark는요, 어떤 역사적인 아니면 획기적인이라는 의미가 있습니다. 이번에 UN의 결정이 비록 구속력은 없지만 굉장히 획기적인. 그런 판결이다 이렇게 볼수 있겠죠? Yeah, and uh, the High Court, the Court of Appeal, they allowed this deportation to go ahead. Now, I chose this expression because I wanted to tell you the difference between the verb and the noun expressions. 아. So, go ahead, we all know it means just go ahead, proceed, 음. do it, right? But if you put a dash in between go and ahead, uh -huh. so go dash ahead, you change it into a noun. And then we change the sentence into something like, I got the go ahead yeah. to do this thing. Sure. Uh, I wanted to buy a new game station and my wife gave me the go ahead. Uh -huh. I wanted to take a longer vacation and my boss gave me the go ahead. But in that case, again, it's a, a, there's a dash in there. 그렇죠. 허락, 승인을 뜻하는 go hyphen ahead. 이게 한 단어로 명사 형태로 쓰게 되면은요. I got the go ahead. 이런 식으로 써서 승인 받았어. 와이프가 오케이 했어. 이런 yeah. 의미로 보시면 되겠습니다. It still means the same thing though. Permission to proceed. 음, 네, 알겠습니다. Okay, let's go on to our second news focus story now and this time we're going to America. 두 번째 뉴스 포커스입니다. 미국 버지니아 주 리치먼드에서 총기 규제 법안 추진에 반대하는 총기 옹호론자들의 대규모 시위가 열렸는데요. Let's listen to the story. Thousands of gun ownership enthusiasts and armed militia members gathered at the Virginia State Capitol Monday for a rally aimed at quashing new gun restrictions. An estimated 22,000 people attended the demonstration from staunch believers that the Second Amendment guarantees wide access to guns to those who say gun rights should have limits. The event held on Martin Luther King Day that honors a civil rights leader who himself became a victim of gun violence had generated anxiety that it could draw white supremacists and violent extremists. So let's get right to the first expression as we talk about this. We're talking about people who are enthusiastic mm -hmm. about gun ownership? Yes, exactly. So when they held this rally, uh, people who are supporters of guns, mm -hmm. people who enjoy guns, they came to the rally, and we call those people gun enthusiasts. That's a very difficult word to pronounce, isn't yeah. it? Enthusiast. But what it means is someone who enjoys something. And it's very easy to use this word in a sentence. If you enjoy sports, then you can say, I'm a sports enthusiast. Mm. Walter Sonsey Nim. <laughs> car enthusiast. Absolutely. Walter is a car enthusiast. Mm. I enjoy cooking. Ah. I'm a cooking enthusiast. Mm. Uh, our listeners are morning special enthusiasts. <laughs> okay. And all it means is the people who enjoy something. <sighs> It doesn't matter what that thing is, you can call yourself an enthusiast. 네, enthusiast 그러면은요, 뭔가 굉장히 좋아하는 사람이라는 뜻입니다. 열광적인 팬이 될 수도 있고요, 뭔가 지지하는 사람이 될 수도 있고요. 내가 나는 이런 걸 정말 좋아해. 어, 스티브 선생님 요리를 정말 좋아하신대요. 그리고 월터 선생님이 예전에 차 정말 자동차 막 이런 경주하는 차 여러 가지. 카를 굉장히 좋아했거든요. 그래서 카 엔스튜지아스트라고 볼수 있겠고 저는 뮤지컬을 굉장히 좋아합니다. 뮤지컬 엔스튜지아스트라고 볼수 있겠죠. Exactly. Uh, 22,000 people came out to the demonstration. Some of those 22,000 people were staunch believers of the Second Amendment. So, staunch. Mm. This is a weird word sound it sounds weird right yeah. S-T-A-U-N-C-H. staunch. And what it means is loyal or firm in what you believe. Uh, I'll give you two sentences together. Okay. Um, listeners of this program are morning special enthusiasts mm -hmm. and they are staunch supporters of this show. Aha, 확고하다 라는 의미의 staunch가 uh, 여기서 쓰였습니다. Staunch supporter 그러면은 uh, 정말 확고한 마음으로 지지를 한다라는 게 되겠죠. Loyal, firm. Loyal. If mm. EBS said morning special is going to be canceled, then listeners of the show 
they would be staunchly opposed to the cancellation of the program. 아하, 그렇군요. Staunchly 이런 식으로 뭐 부사처럼 쓸 수도 있을 텐데 그때는 이제 또 어, 남다른 마음으로 어떤 확고한 마음을 가지고 안 돼요라고 할때 staunchly opposed라고 할수 있겠네요. Yes, so you can be strongly for something or strongly against it, and that's where we can use this word in both in both positive and negatives. All right. Well, we'll leave that story there and remind our listeners once again of the quiz. Carbonated water is a mainstream product found in restaurants, markets, and convenience stores. It is also known as blank water. Is it number one, sparkling water, number two, thirsty water, or number three, shiwon shiwon water? 네, 고칼슘 살론 두유 총 다섯 분께 보내드리겠습니다. 계속해서 정답 보내주시고요. Uh, Shakira의 Whenever, Wherever 듣고 와서 다음 News Focus 살펴볼게요. 자. She's going to be performing at the Super Bowl, I think. Oh, really? Yeah, let me just, Shakira. Yeah, let me just confirm that. Mm. I think I read that. That's kind of cool, though, right? Yeah. You know, in America, whoever's going to be performing at the Super Bowl, the Super Bowl is the National Football League Championship game. Mm -hmm. It's always exciting for people to learn. Yeah, I remember Madonna <laughs> many years back. It's always a big deal, <laughs> right? All right. Um, we'll go on to our next News Focus story now. 다음 뉴스 보겠습니다. 블라디미르 젤렌스키 우크라이나 대통령이 키예프를 방문한 이란 정부 대표단을 만나 테란에서 격추된 우크라이나 항공 여객기의 블랙박스를 인도해 달라고 요구했습니다. Let's listen to the story. Ukraine President Volodymyr Zelensky has urged Tehran to hand over the black box flight recorders of a passenger plane mistakenly shot down by Iranian forces during a spike in tensions with Washington. Ukraine Foreign Minister Vadim Pristeko said Tehran was ready to hand over the flight recorders, but a senior official later announced that Iran intended to keep the black boxes for now. Last week, Canada, Ukraine, Sweden, Afghanistan and Britain issued a five-point plan for cooperation with Iran during the investigation, calling for full and unhindered access for foreign officials. Ah, so what's happening with the black box? Well, uh, people want to know what's on it. Yes. That's the most important piece of information. And they did say, Iran, or Tehran, excuse me, said that they were ready to hand it over, but then later said, we will keep it for now. Mm. Not entirely sure what that means, right. but uh, Canada and other countries included, Sweden, Ukraine, the countries that I mentioned, uh, they did uh, issue this plan for cooperation, and they have said that Iran and Tehran have been fully cooperative yeah. uh, up to this point. So maybe it's just a matter of time. Okay. But yeah, that's what they want. They want them to hand over the flight recorders. Mm -hmm. So this is a, a, an expression that we hear a lot when you want someone to give you something mm -hmm. physically yep. that's in their hand, perhaps, right? If you're a teacher and your policy for your classroom is no cell phone phones in class mm -hmm. and you catch your student using their cell phone <laughs> then you can say give it to me or you can say hand it over mm -hmm. and that means put it from your hand over into my hand 아 그렇군요. 아 이제 뭐, 이 경우에는 이제 핸드폰을 들고 있으면 안 되는데 선생님이 압수해 가는 그런 의미로 볼수 있겠지만 보통은 hand something over 그러면 넘기다 이런 의미가 있어요. Hand it over to me. 그러면 나한테 넘겨 이런 식으로 이해하시면 되겠습니다. Yeah, exactly. So the countries they want to know what's on these flight recorders. They want to physically have mm. these flight recorders. They want them sure. to be handed over. Yeah, but they said, you know, actually we're not going to hand it over just yet. Yeah, we are going to keep it for now. We will keep those for now. So for now is a reference to time, and it means right now or at this time or in this time period. Mm. I'll give you a sentence example. Uh, if someone asks you, so, are you going to quit your job? You say, nah, and you're thinking to yourself, <laughs> you're thinking to yourself, maybe, maybe one month later, mm. maybe two months later, but right now, I'm going to keep my job. But mm. we don't say right now, we say for now. <sighs> So yeah, maybe maybe in a few months I'll quit, but for now uh -huh. I think I'll keep my job. 지금은 일단은 뭐 이런 의미로 for now라고 할수 있겠습니다. 
Okay, well, that's going to be all of our news focus stories for now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and it's time to announce the answer to the quiz. What is it? The answer to the quiz today. Well, the question was, carbonated water is a mainstream product found in restaurants, markets, and convenience stores. It is also known as blank water. Number one, sparkling water. Number two, thirsty water. Or number three, uh, shiwan shiwan water. And the answer, number one, sparkling yeah. water. 1번 정답 맞춰주신 신선미님, 김은화님, 송승엽님, 그리고 1338과 2900 끝번호 쓰시는 분들 축하드립니다. 고칼슘 살룬두유 보내드릴게요. Steve, what is today's expression? Well, this is a really good one, and it is an acquired taste. Mm. What were we talking about? Sparkling water? Sparkling water, yeah. Being an acquired taste. So an acquired taste is something... Where you taste it the first time, you don't like it. The second time, maybe you don't like it. Third <laughs> time, fourth time, fifth time, slowly you get used to it mm. until eventually you do like it. Mm -hmm. And that thing we call an acquired taste. So an example may be uh, kimchi for yeah. some expats, right? Uh -huh. For some foreigners. So if you have a client uh, visiting Korea for the first time, maybe, mm. and they, oh, please try kimchi. It's one of our staple dishes. And then they try it and you can see their face. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. You can say it's an acquired taste. Uh -huh. And that means if you eat it over time, mm. then you will eventually like it. 계속 먹다 보면은 맛있게 느껴지는 그런 음식들이 있잖아요. 그런 것들을 an acquired taste라고 할수 있습니다. Yeah. Kimchi is an acquired taste. Coffee. Coffee, really? Coffee is an acquired uh, taste for, uh, for many people, yeah. 그럴 수 있겠네요. When 그러니까 you, 처음에 먹, 먹었을 때, yeah. 처, 맨 처음에는, 어, oh, 이거 뭐야? 이런 반응이 나올 수 있지만, mm -hmm. 계속 먹거나 마시다 보면은, 맛있네. Yeah. 계속 생각이 나고, 이런 것들이 이제 an acquired taste라고 하는 거예요. For my sister, coffee was an acquired taste because she didn't like it until she was 26 years old. Really? Yeah, ah. she didn't like it until that time, and now she really likes it. Oh, have you ever tried Marmite or Vegemite? Oh, I don't think that's an acquired <laughs> that's taste. That's an acquired taste. I think that's an unacquirable <laughs> taste, which, by the way, is not an expression. I just made that up. 네. But I tried it a couple of times, uh, and I did not like you it at all. You just have to have a minuscule amount. If you put too much in, it's too salty I and put, unbearable. Yeah, I ate it from a spoon. <laughs> well, there you go. <laughs> That's like, why. <laughs> yeah, it didn't work. Yeah. 네. But yeah, there's plenty of examples of acquired taste foods out there, right? 네, 그렇습니다. 처음에 먹었을 때는 좀 이상한 것 같아도 계속 먹다 보면은 생각이 나고 맛있는 그런 음식들. 여러분은 an acquired taste 이 표현에 어울리는 음식 뭐가 떠오르시나요? Yes, but it is a very good sentence to learn if you have someone visiting Korea and they try uh, something and, and you can tell they don't like it, mm. then you can say, oh, it's an acquired taste. Mm. Or if you are traveling overseas and someone offers you their food, yeah. right? And you really don't like it, but you don't want to be rude. Cilantro, I think, is a yeah. bit like that. <laughs> okay, yeah. yeah. So then you can say, oh, it's an acquired taste, ah, I guess. Okay, well, thank you so much, Steve. Thank you for having me today. Enjoy your Wednesday, and I'll be back tomorrow. All right. Right. 네, Steve 선생님 보내드리면서 Lady Gaga의 The Edge of Glory 듣고 저는 2부에 돌아오겠습니다.